Welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss what is a cantilever. We will find an expression for the depression of a weightless cantilever at a fixed distance x from the fixed end. So, cantilever is actually a horizontal beam whose one end is fixed and the other end is free. So, what is beam? Beam is an structural element whose length is very much greater than its width. You can say its cross section dimension. So beam can be just like that. The length here is very much greater than this, its width. So if a beam is fixed at one end, and it is kept free at other end, it will move down, you can say. And weight is applied at this end only. And the weight is W. So beam here is weightless. And weight is applied at free end only. Now the shape of the beam will be like this one. So this will move down. Suppose the length of the beam, it is L. And we will assume a cross section, this P, it will also move down. That means its center will move down by this quantity. Suppose this cross section is at a distance x from this fixed end, so it will have distance L minus X from the free end. And this cross section moves down by an amount equal to Y. Or you can say here we have taken the dimension X and in this direction the dimension is Y. So depression here is Y at a distance X. And the total depression at this end is actually delta. The length of the beam is L. Now what this weight is doing? Weight is trying to rotate or you can say it is creating a movement in this direction or you can say in clockwise direction. And the movement which is resisting or you can say the bending movement which is created inside because of the extension and compression of the filament. It is actually the movement called bending movement and it is opposing the movement created by the weight. It is called the bending movement and it is in the direction of anti-clockwise. You can say clockwise movement equal to anti-clockwise movement. So clockwise movement is created by the weight W due to external weight W and anti-clockwise movement, it is due to the bending movement or it is due to the internal fibers. It is due to the extension and compression of the internal fibers. And when this cantilever is in equilibrium, these two moments will be equal. So the weight W, it is having the distance L minus X from the section P here. So it will be W into L minus X. That is the force and the perpendicular distance from the force. The formula for the bending moment is Y I over R. What is Y? Y is the Young's modulus. I, I is the geometrical moment of inertia. And R is the radius of curvature. This geometrical moment of inertia depends on the geometry of the beam or the cross section of the beam. It is different for the different cross sections. R is the radius of curvature. It means it is the radius of the curvature of the beam at a particular point. Now, if 
the depression of cantilever at a distance x from fixed end is y the formula for radius of curvature is r equal to 1 plus dy over dx square by d2y dx2. What is dy by dx? dy by dx is the slope. If the horizontal beam now takes the form this one, the depression is actually small enough so that the slope, slope is very small. So dy by dx can be a very small quantity with respect to 1 and the square of dy by dx will also be very very much smaller than 1. So this can be neglected. So neglecting this dy by dx square with respect to 1, we will have 1 upon d2y dx2 or you can say 1 upon r equal to d2y dx2. Now what is 1 upon r? So 1 upon r is actually wl minus x upon yi. So 1 upon r is w l minus x upon y i or you can say the differential equation now is d 2 y dx 2 equal to w upon y i l minus x. Now integrating this one, integrating this equation dy by dx equal to w upon y i l into x minus integration of x is x square by 2 plus the constant of integration that is c1. Now the value of c1 can be obtained by boundary conditions at x equal to 0. Now the beam is horizontal initially when the weight w is applied it takes the form like this one. It does not bend at the initial point or you can say at the initial point the slope is already horizontal so it means dy by dx will be 0 at the initial point. So putting this dy by dx 0 equal to w upon y i 0 minus 0 plus c1 it means c1 equal to 0. So dy by dx equal to w upon y i lx minus x square by 2. Integrating again. It is y equal to w upon yi l x means x square by 2 and the integration of x square is x cube by 3 it becomes x cube by 6 plus the constant of integration c2. Now if the beam is horizontal initially, it will bend like this one. But it, this portion, or you can say the initial point will not shift downward. Or you can say at x equal to 0, the depression is 0. So 0 equal to w upon y i 0 minus 0 plus c2. It means c2 equal to 0. So depression now become. So y is w upon y i l x square by 2 minus x cube by 6. So what is this? It is the expression for depression of a cantilever at a distance x from fixed end. So it is the expression for depression. Now if we want to find the depression at the free end, this we will have to put x equal to l. We will have to find the depression when x equal to l. So depression at the free end that is at x equal to l 
and the depression we have assumed as delta that means y will become delta so delta will be equal to w upon y i it is l into l square by 2 minus l cube by 6 so it is l cube by 2 minus l cube by 6 it is equal to w upon y i l cube by 2 minus l cube by 6 it is 6 here so it is 3 l cube minus l cube so it is 2 l cube by 6 or it will be l cube by 3 so delta equal to w l cube upon 3 y i so it is the expression for depression of a cantilever at its free end when it is massless and where w is applied at the free end while well, y is the young's modulus i is the geometrical moment of inertia now in case the cross section of the beam is rectangular or rectangular cross section for the rectangular cross section the cross section will be like this one it will have breadth we will call it b it will have some depth we will call it d and in that case the geometrical moment of inertia i becomes b d cube upon 12 so delta becomes so delta equal to w l cube upon 3 y b d cube upon 12 so it will be equal to 4 w l cube upon y b d cube and for circular cross section delta will be equal to w l cube upon 3 y i is pi r 4 upon 4 so it will be equal to 4 w l cube upon 3 pi y r 4 so cross section is this one circle and its r is the radius of this cross section so we have find an expression for the depression at the free end of a cantilever for rectangular cross section and for circular cross section. For rectangular cross section, B is the breadth, D is the depth and for circular cross section, R is the radius of cantilever. The PDF copy of the notes of this video can be found in the description below. Thank you.